The World Baseball Classic hats are officially out, and you know I gotta give my opinion on them. I'm so incredibly excited for the World Baseball Classic. Gonna be doing a ton of World Baseball Classic content on this channel, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. But let's be honest, you came here to see me talk about hats, so let's just get going right into it. And we are getting it started off with Team Australia's hat, which gives me big time Oakland A vibes. It's got that Kelly green kind of base color with the yellow in there, or the gold, whatever you wanna call it. A little bit more of a plain A, but I do like the stars for the Australian flag. What do they call those? Falling star, a comet. It looks like it has like the, the streaks following behind it going through the A to kind of connect it. I really like this hat. I mean, you see the tiers here. It's a little different than like S to D. I, I think this is a, ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. Like, I think the hat will probably end up being better than their play because let's be honest, Team Australia doesn't really have that great of a chance right now. Team Canada's hat. I mean, oh, I feel like Canada could have such a cool hat. Obviously, you got to rock the red because it's the Canadian flag and you have the maple leaf in there, but there's just some something missing. Maybe it's the C inside of the maple leaf that just kind of makes me go, not for me. I feel like Team Canada's hat could be a lot better. I, I wish Team Canada had a better hat. I feel like they normally have some decent stuff in other sports, but in baseball, not a fan. This one is going to be a pass for me. I would not buy this hat. I don't like it. Even if I was Canadian, I don't think I want this. No, this has been their logo since like the first WBC, at least from what I know. It's time for a revamp. It's time to change the look, Canada. China. Wow, this hat is awesome. I didn't expect to love China's hat, but the C being a dragon is so cool. This might be one of the better looking hats out there right now. The Chinese hat is a must buy right now. Another team that's hat definitely looks better than they'll play. I believe they have a player coach named Ray Chang, which is kind of crazy. I don't think there's any major leaguers on that team. I don't even know if there's any minor leaguers. Team China's not gonna be very good, but this hat could be the best hat of the entire WBC. That alone, I gotta see what the whole jersey looks like because China might be coming in with just the straight up best uniforms in the entire WBC, getting it started with this hat. Chinese Taipei, AKA Taiwan. I kinda, I kinda like this one. I kinda like this one. I don't know. I mean, I'm not buying it. It's definitely not a must buy right now. Is it an, ooh, I like that or it looks fine. I definitely don't think it's boring. I do like how they kind of sneak a little baseball in between the C and the T. I like that there's three different colors. It's a very solid royal blue with a good red and a white. This is a solid hat. I think this probably goes and looks fine, I, I think. Yeah, I, I think it goes and looks fine. I think it's a good, good looking hat. Looks, It looks fine. Columbia's hat to me, not very good. Not very good. This one to me is another pass. I, I don't think it's a solid hat. They have cool colors. You could use the yellow, the red, and the blue and instead you just did like a darker navy-ish blue and the red sea which is just very boring to me and I feel like I've seen their jerseys from previous ones and nothing really goes together I don't know you guys can let me know in the comment section below which hat is your favorite but for me team Columbia that's a pass for me I don't even think it's boring I just think it's straight up a pass I don't like it team Cuba so Cuba actually technically I think has a slightly different hat I think there might be a star inside of it it's not officially released there's some weird licensing issues going on but let's be honest at the end of the day for team Cuba but the C is pretty boring. The hat colors are whatever. I think this one goes in the boring. I actually don't think it's a bad hat. Like it reminds me, well, this is why it's a bad hat. Maybe it reminds me of the Clemson hat because they just do the regular old C on their college baseball hats. So it kind of gives me those vibes, which is another reason why it's kind of boring. But yeah, I, I don't know. This is not a hat that I'm particularly interested in. It's just, it's, it's boring. A plain old C on a red and blue hat. Not for me. Team Czech Republic. This is a really, really interesting one. I like the color. It's like a nice navy black blue type color and they do have a cool logo where it's like a home plate made out of CR for Czech Republic that being said is an ooh I like that or is it looks fine I think this one I mean I, I like it I like it if I was from Czech Republic I feel like this is a solid hat but maybe not for like an adult this maybe looks like a better AAU team hat which is I think why it goes and looks fine I don't know that one's close for me but I think it goes and looks fine Republica Dominicana Dominican Republic hat is always fire I own one of them I own the one from I believe the previous world baseball classic where it was red with a blue brim and I used to wear it and I looked crazy because clearly I'm not Dominican but their hats their jerseys everything the Dominican Republic does in baseball is just so cool and to me this hat is a must buy right now. The blue, the red, the white, it fits with their flag as well that's on the hat. Everything looks so clean for the Dominican Republic hat. Definitely one of the best ones out there. Team Great Britain. I don't know why when I see this GB, I, I just think of game battles. I don't know if you guys were playing game battles back in the day, but that was a big thing for me and my friends in high school when we were playing Call of Duty. I just see game battles. That's all I can think of. I also just weirdly think of G Fuel. Not a sponsor, but I just think of G Fuel. I don't like this hat at all. To me, this one is going to be... Is it a pass or is it just boring? Let me, let me think about this. 
I think it's a pass. I think it's a pass because the GB, they tried to be cool, I feel like, with the GB, but I just, I don't like it. I don't know. Something about the UK flag plus Great Britain hat just doesn't really match up for me. Oh, Team Israel might have, oh, I, I might eat my words here. Team Israel might have the best hat in the entire thing. Yeah, if I was Jewish or if I was from Israel or if I was a supporter of Team Israel, I would be definitely rocking this hat. This is awesome. I think this is going to go ahead of Team China because, one, Blue just fits better. Blue just looks better. I like it. And the Star of David on the front of that hat looks so, so good. It's going to look great on their jerseys. The Team Israel hat, I think, I think right now is the favorite out of all the WBC hats. This is a must buy right now if you are someone who wants to wear that. Team Italy. Team Italy goes right into the boring. I mean, just a plain block letter I. I don't, I don't really know what they can truly do because a red and green hat would look insane. And I do know that the blue comes from the soccer team. They're called the Azuri, right? I believe something along the lines of that. And blue is one of their like national colors for when they're playing sports. So the color is not the problem for me. It's just, it's a, it's a plain eye. There's no real kind of identity. There's no real character to this hat whatsoever. I'm Italian. I, I, I don't want this hat. I don't want it. I don't want it. it does, it's not a hat that I would wear. I feel like I'd look stupid wearing a plain blue hat with an Italian flag that says I on it. Just not for me. Boring. Team Japan's hat. I actually don't know where I stand on this one. Uh, the color's weird. The color's weird to me. It's like a slate grayish darker color with red and gold it's just very it's not easy on the eyes for me to me the team japan hat is a pass i know people are going to go crazy about that people are going to go nuts but i feel like it could have been way better i don't know it could have just been so much better and i don't care for the color on there plus the red and the gold like i said it's just it's hard on the eyes the red stitching looks weird i know it's team samurai japan there's just, there's a lot of pride and stuff behind it and i hope this doesn't cancel me with the japanese fans but I don't like the hat. To me, it's a pass. One hat that I do like, though, I do like Team Korea's. I do like Team Korea's. I think it's going to go and looks fine, though. It's not necessarily one that I go, ooh, ooh, ooh I like it. But I think it goes and looks fine. Uh, to me, I like the K. It's a little bit different. It's it's something different than just these plain block letters that we're seeing. It's a little bit of a different dark blue, a little more blue than it is black in that navy scheme. I don't know. It just kind of pops. So I like Team Korea's hat for sure. Mexico. This one's tough because does it go in ooh, I like that or must buy right now? Probably goes in ooh, I like that just because it Again, I'm not gonna wear a bright green hat with a red brim. It's just, it's gonna look crazy on me. I don't, I don't have clothes to match with that. But this is a really strong looking hat. Team Mexico has always got strong stuff in all the sports that they play, baseball included. This is a strong hat. If I was Mexican, I would wear it. I would definitely be rocking this hat all day. And that team is low key slept on right now. Extremely underrated. Very, very good team. Don't sleep on Team Mexico in the World Baseball Classic. Just saying. And the hat, I like it. Kingdom of Netherlands, definitely, definitely up there as one of the best hats. Must by right now. I'm not Dutch. I'm not Dutch. I'm Italian and Greek. I might buy the Kingdom of the Netherlands hat. I don't know. Something about just the crown on the front of the hat being bright orange on a black hat just absolutely pops like crazy. It's a really, really good looking hat. Really cool. Different than you see in a lot of baseball teams because, of course, you mostly see like letters or just insignias. But to go with the crown for the Kingdom of Netherlands, very, very cool. Definitely one of the best hats. Must buy for sure. Black and orange also always goes together. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. This is another one that's boring. Uh, just a plain old N on a blue hat for a country that has a blue and white flag. There's not a whole lot to this. I don't know. Maybe if you're Nicaraguan, you can let me know in the comments. Am I being a little bit harsh? But to me, just a boring hat. You can you can kind of see where I'm going here. I don't want too much, but I also don't want nothing. And I feel like my, my tears should make sense to you based on my likings and how I'm explaining it. The Nicaragua hat is not it. Now, I know what I just said. I'm going to contradict myself here. I like the Team Panama hat. I like Panama's hat. It's the only one that's what called, um, it's like a two panel hat or whatever. It's got the front panel that's white. Back is navy blue. You got the red brim with the red P. Granted, it would never remind me of Panama if you didn't have the Panamanian flag on the side. Looks more like a high school hat, but I, I think I like this one. I, I like that. I'm going to put that in the ooh, I like it. I don't know why I can't articulate it better. I wish I could because I'm sure some of you are going crazy right now. Like, how is this the one that you put there, but you don't like Team Canada's? I don't know. It's just something, something in my brain tells me I like Team Panama's hat. Team Puerto Rico's hat is really good. Did they have a red one in the previous WBC? They didn't have a red hat. They had a red bill. I think I like the red bill better, but the blue is still really good. This is, goes in my must buy right now. This is a strong hat. I would wear it. Again, not Puerto Rican. Uh, it wouldn't make any sense for my heritage, but the hat looks good. The hat looks clean. They make the colors work. It fits with the flag. It's just strong PR. That's a very distinct PR. We know that from all the previous World Baseball Classics. Easy to tell who this is, and it's really good looking. Down to the final two here, we've got Team USA, which is a very, very divisive hat. Uh, I think it 
pretty much looks horrible. It's not one of the better looking hats out there for sure. But it's, kind of, but it's like classic because Team USA, I feel like, has had this logo forever. Like, that's the only Team USA baseball logo that I've ever known. And I don't want to say, like, weirdly, there's a lot of history behind it, but there is. I mean, they've won a lot in this. Baseball is America's pastime. I'll probably put Team USA's in looks fine. Uh, it's not bad. It's not boring. It's just whatever. It could be so much cooler. Team USA could probably have the coolest hat. They choose not to. Kind of similar-ish to Team Canada. They need a revamp of that logo. They got to change it up. It's now 2023. This thing's been going on for at least 23 years that I can think of. And then last, but certainly not least, or maybe it is least in your mind, Team Venezuela. Uh, Team Venezuela goes in the past for me, and here's why. I'm almost 100% sure that that maroon color doesn't appear anywhere else on the Team Venezuela jerseys. So just for context, this is what the Team Venezuela home jersey looked like. It, it, there's not really a lot of that maroon color. They do have it on the sleeves on the away jersey, but I don't know. It doesn't even look like it's the same color to me. Now, we have not yet seen what the jerseys are going to look like for them officially. Ooh, but if they go to this one, ooh, if they go to this one, ah, that would look really good. Hold on. Hold on, if they go with this jersey, because that fits the color scheme more, we might have a winner here. Wait a second, because with that jersey, and then it kind of goes into the, ooh, I like it. This is like the most polarizing hat of them all. It's either going to be something that I'm like, that's pretty nice, or get it away from me, it doesn't make any sense. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a benefit of the doubt. I think Team Venezuela is going to be smart. They're going to match their hat to the rest of their jersey, and they're going to use this 2013 looking jersey. Yeah, th then I like it, because then the color makes sense, even though it doesn't make sense with the Venezuelan flag at all. But I digress. If it fits with the jersey, it will look good. So this is my tier list for the WBC hats. All 20 teams. Got a bunch of the must-buy. I mean, overall, I think most of the hats look good, and the only reason I don't like some is just because they're kind of boring, or I don't like the colors. The top three hats are definitely, though, Israel, Kingdom of Netherlands, and China, though, which is a crazy sentence to say in a baseball tournament, but I think those are three of the best without a doubt. I'd love to know what you guys think about all the WBC hats down in the comment section below. Where do you agree with me or disagree with me? What hat do you think is the best and the worst? If you did enjoy the video, you're excited for the WBC, make sure you drop a like on it. That's the best way to show your support. As well as make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any world baseball content coming at you this year. Follow me on all my social media at GiraffeNeckMark. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload, so click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.